So with the Madrid Open only a couple of days away and one of the biggest tournaments of the clay court calendar, Rafa Nadal has pulled out again from another event. He hasn't played since the Australian Open when he got injured back in January. This is what he had to say over on Twitter about why he's pulled out this time. So this is what Nadal had to say. Hello everyone, haven't communicated with you guys directly in a while. It's been a rough few weeks and months. As you know, I suffered a major injury in Australia. Initially it had to be six to eight weeks recovery period and we're on to number 14. The reality is that situation is not what we had hoped for. All medical directions had been followed and somehow evolution has not been what we were initially told. And we find ourselves in a situation that is difficult. The weeks are passing and I had the illusion of being able to play in tournaments that are the most important in my career, such as Monte Carlo, Barcelona, Madrid, Roma, Roland Garros. At the moment, I miss Monte Carlo and Barcelona. Won't be able to be in Madrid, unfortunately. The injury is still unhealed. I can't work what I need to compete. I was training but now a few days we decided to change course a bit do another treatment and see if things improve I can't give deadlines because if I knew I would tell you all but I don't know this is the current situation I also want to send a special greeting to all my fans of Madrid because I've missed the two tournaments that are played here at home all I have left is to try and keep the right attitude all this time but to give myself a chance to compete in some of the tournaments left on the dirt season and I have no choice but to work and be with the right mindset and as soon as I have some news I will inform you thank you so there you have it Rafa Nadal not playing Madrid Madrid, another clay court tournament he's pulled out of. Not just clay, but he hasn't played Indian Wells, Miami. He didn't play those tournaments that he was supposed to play as well in February on the hard courts. And we haven't seen him since the Australian Open. It's been months, many months, many weeks, as Rafa just said. And we don't know when we're going to see him. He's going to be ready for Rome, which is in about two, three weeks' time. French Open is, of course, in the end of May and start of June. And then there's Wimbledon after that, where he luckily doesn't have any points to defend, but he is the defending champion of the French Open. So there's a lot of points up for grabs, and a lot of points on the line for Rafa over the next couple of months. And his ranking's already dropped out of the top 10 for the first time since 2005. He could be out of the top 20 by the end of the clay court season if he doesn't play, or if he does play and he's not 100%. Let me know down in the comments below. When do you think we're going to see Rafa? you think we're not going to see him? on the clay this year. I mean, that seems like a serious possibility that he's not going to play the clay court season at all this year based on not knowing the deadlines, not knowing the timelines, and also going to treatment again. But no Rafa at Madrid. Another tournament we won't be seeing Rafa play this year.